kembo kembo na tata nzambi kumfumu chako yisa ya Kongo so nini na nini somanda moloeni bantwana babawo oswe mazulwini nusiemi betwa bumbote bana ba isolele moriega shiana shiangai mpo salama watoto wa mungu yes is that time we sit and rightly divide the word of truth the first europeans to show an interest in tanganyika in the 19th century were missionaries of the church missionary society johann ludwig kraft and johanne rebman who in the late 1840s reached kilimanjaro it was a fellow missionary jacob Eckhart, who, whose famous slug map showing on Arab information, a vast shapeless inland lake helped simulate the interest of the British explorers, Richard Burton and John Honey Speck. They traveled from Bagamoyo to take Tanganyika in 1857 to, to 1858. And Speck, also Lake Victoria, this expedition was followed by Speck's second journey in 1860 in the company of J.A. Grant to justify the former's claim that the Nile River rose in Lake Victoria. These primarily geographic explorations were followed by the activities of David Livingstone. But what the Mundele does not tell us in their history is what they were doing. Fast forward 2021 20, in the year of the calendar of the Grigori, July, so they say, Etupa, we say, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, it's an honor to present none other than Manzam Bizola and Queen Brenda. Bayete, my king, Bayete, my queen. Bayete, Bayete. Hallelujah. Good to be with you again. My king, um, perhaps just to bring our viewers up to speed. The last time we spoke to you, you were in the land of your captivity. And uh, as we do this broadcast, that smile on your face and the face on the queen is because you are in the land of your ancestors. Tell us how this came to be about because it was a hush hush, but now it's in the open, my king, my queen. Uh, yes, we are. We we are in the land, and we are loving it. Um, this is something that we have uh, wanted to do for some time, um, but more so since we have awakened, and uh, we just have a desire to return and to uh, be amongst our brothers and sisters. Uh, so. We are here in uh, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Tanzania, some say. And um, we, we did kind of, you know, keep it hush hush. <laughs> we, um, we try not to uh, broadcast too much, you know, because uh, we don't need to allow the uh, left hand to know what the right hand is doing. So, uh, my king, my yeah. king, because we are told <laughs> we have been sent in the midst of wolves. We should be mm -hmm. as wise as serpents, but as humble as God. Yeah. My queen, Dar es Salaam, the city of peace. We have left you in the background. It's time we hear you speak. You know, when I'm seated with the king, we tend to get excited. And um, my queen. The city of peace. What was that last part you said? I'm sorry, there's no noise the, in the background. The city of peace. Tell yes. us your experience so far. Oh, wow. Um, it's, it's been an eye opener. Um, it's the people. The people are very friendly. Um, it's to me, I grew up in the South. So it's like being in the South when I was a child, because things are different now in the South. So a lot of things that I see 
is some of the things that I saw in the South moving up. So it's, it's almost kind of like me kind of going back in the past as a child with some of the things that I see. Um, and the fruit, the vegetables, the taste is, it makes me wonder what am I eating back home in the U.S.? It's just on a different level. Um, yes, yes. So the water being out by the ocean, it's breathtaking. I tell you, the land of our ancestors is beautiful. It's refreshing, it's rejuvenating, invigorating, and all the other adjectives you can think of. Kembo, Kembo, Natata, Nzambi, we say, my king, you're just smiling in the background. Tell us the moment you leave that flight, that plane, and your feet touch the ground. And I will also be taking a, 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 an answer from this, from my queen. What feeling resonated in you? What resonated in me when I stepped off that plane onto the ground was, I'm home. Uh, <laughs> for so long, I hungered to be in the land of my ancestors. I so desired to walk the land that they once walked. And to step on the ground and to finally say, this is the land that I was created from. This is the land that I am familiar with, that my body makeup is familiar with. I'm home. This is my home. It was so overwhelming. Yes. My king, <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you short because as you were saying that, I felt the power in those words. Uh, so forgive my intrusion because some of these experiences we have to tell Barnabeto because as we were reading that our ancestors were forced on slave ships, my king. You have had that experience. My queen, you went to where our kinsmen, kings and queens were detained. How was that experience for you? Learning that perhaps your great, great grandmother, your great, great grandfather might have been in shackles in those chambers. My queen, as Sorry. we wait for the king. Sorry, yes. Um, uh. Yes, my queen. My experience started uh, when I was on a plane to the Indian Ocean. Um, it's very emotional for a lot of us in America, especially me, because I was able to trade um, two of my ancestors back to Africa, my sixth grandfather and grandmother, six times removed. So I, I was fighting back tears because I knew they stole him from off the lane. From his family. And I often think about, you know, I have family here that I don't even know. And so, too, like Mendambi, when I got off the plane, I said, I'm home. It's been a long time. But I'm home. Hey, back to the land. My ancestors stolen from their family, stripped of their culture, their language, their heritage, the essence of who they were. And made to be something less than what they were. 
And I thought about my grandfather that they stole off this land when I came back. Sorry, forgive me. And I said, made it back home. I made it back home. Kembo, kembo, na tata nzambi, bantuana babao oswe mazuluini. Sazobuya, we shall return. My king, a lot of emotion going because it's a time we say, bring the fat calf, slaughter it, for our sons and daughters are back home. Bring the pricey rings and bedeck them with jewels. For you have to be in this moment to understand what is going on. My king, you went to those dungeons. Personally, I have not been in those dungeons. Before we even get to the cream of this, I really want Bantuana Babao Oswema Zuluini, those that are in the diaspora, sons of Yaounde, sons of Benyamini, sons of Lawi, and those here on the continent to understand. So my king, how was it for you? Oh my goodness, it was hard. It was hard, just, just the fact of you mentioning it, it brought tears to my eyes. You know, in the diaspora, we have seen the movies where they uh, had our ancestors, uh, you know, in the, uh, the chains and um, working out in the plantation and um, uh, roots, you know, how they were tried running away and being uh, captured and, and killed or whatever. But we have never been shown the holding place. We've seen them sell them, put them up for auction. We've seen that, but we have not seen the holding place before they took them to the auction. And to walk into that place, seeing that it's all stone cement and they had the men and children in one place security in the middle and then all the women on the other side they couldn't go anywhere to use the uh the restrooms or you know they had to do it right there and it was in they, they released themselves or relieved themselves in the area in which you walked in and the smell was still there after so many years. It was hard. It was difficult. It made me angry to know that another human could treat a human being as such. Shame on you, Mr. Mundele. Woe unto you. Yes, we have gone back in history. It's a painful history. But Bantuana Babao Oswe Mazuluini, we are not here about the bitter, painful history. We are here to remind you that even though our ancestors went through this, the 400 years of captivity are over. And we go and remind them, my king, Tatanzambe, our father, we have seen the ashes. My queen, we have smelled the wretched stench of the wickedness of the Mundele. Let's tell Pantuana Babao Oswe Mazuluini that this is not the time for mourning. It's a time of rejoicing. 
for Tatan Zambi. This is the first message on this platform that you are going to be giving Bantuana Babao Oswe Mazulwini. I wish not to make this an interview, my king, but a message from Manzambi and Queen Brenda, Bantu royalty, to Bantuana Babao Oswe Mazulwini. To you, my king and queen. Well, um, this experience, being here in the land, and uh, knowing that this is where we come from, it has been beautiful and yet overwhelming. But it's a place where we belong. When the scripture speaks of the two sticks coming together, this is the gathering place of those two sticks. And therefore, we must prepare ourselves, not only mentally, but spiritually, prepare ourselves. We know a lot is going on to try to prevent us from returning. But Tata and Zombie said, I will bring them back together. He cannot be stopped. So I say to Vanna, there too, get ready to come home. Get ready. Leave Babylon in Babylon. Prepare yourself and come home. My queen. I would say, yes, I would say to um, our brothers and sisters that know who they are, particularly on the continent, share with your brothers and sisters, share with your family. Because we're finding out that a lot of people out here, um, they are, they're not aware, they're oblivious to who they are. Um, we've been, of course, witnessing and uh, ministering to these to the, a group of young men on the beach. And one of them, I uh, was teaching them about some things, and one of them thanked me for teaching them the truth. He said, thank you for teaching me the truth. They're read, they readily received it. They readily received it. So we, we all have a part to play in this puzzle to, to help awaken Bama that too. So once you receive the message, it's not for you to hold on to it, it's for you to share the message as well to your family. Because the two sticks are coming together. And as Menzambi said, it cannot be stopped, even though we know the Mundeles, the Mutungus, are trying to stop it with all power and with all might within them but they can't stop this. And I say also to be encouraged because we know a lot is going on in the world right now, but be encouraged because we have Tata Don be on our side. And if he's on our side, that's all we need. So be encouraged, Do not allow the things that are going on around you distract you nor discourage you because it was meant to be, but there is an end. And Tata and Zombie has that end in his hand. And it is for us, Bonavet, to the return of the kingdom of Congo, his people that he chose, he set aside us. For the return of that kingdom and his people, to restore the glory of his people, that his name may be esteemed among the heathens once again. Be encouraged, Bama Betu, be encouraged. Our time is near. I'll tell you what the most I spoke to me in hopes that it would give you encouragement when you begin to focus too much on the things that's going on around you. I heard in the spirit, keep your eyes on me. Don't be discouraged with what's going on around you. 
because if we take our eyes off Katan Zan and focus on all the things that we see that are going on, we will become faint hearted. But no, our end is in him, not in the things that's going on around us. Our time has come. Kembo, 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 Natata Nzambi. Kumfumu Chako Yisa Ya Congo. Yes. So Nini Nanini Somandla, the mighty yes. one of the Bantu. Him who is to be looked upon as a jasper and a sardine stone. Banabeto, this was supposed to be an interview. But where the spirit leads, so we go. Afterward, Masa and Aharoni went to Pharaoh and said, this is what Sonini Nanini Somandla of Isolele says, let my people go so that they may hold a festival to me in the wilderness. Pharaoh said, who is the Tatan Zambe that I should obey him and let Isolele go? That is what you're saying, nations. You're saying, I do not know the Tatan Zambe of Isolele and I will not let Bananzambe go. That says, so Nini Nini Somandla, the mighty one of Abantuana Abangone. He has met us. Now let us take a three day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices unto Tatanzambe, our Elimo, or he may strike us with the plagues or the sword. The nations, you continue to deny what is right before your eyes. But I tell you, there's nothing you will do. You may crown us, you may try and vex us, but I tell you, none can stay the hand of Sonini Nanini Somandla. Yes. For in the presence of the world, Ban and Zambi have shed tears for what you did to their fathers. I remind you, their fathers are not dead. We are sons and daughters of Muntu. Muntu Banankosi, Nkosi Yamankosi Yamazulu. Zambi, Murunku. Mwenenyaga Kingi, yes. who have refused to acknowledge. And he con and this is his word. But the king of Kamata, you heads of the nations, said unto Masa and Harun, Why are you taking the people away from their labor? Get back to your work. Then Pharaoh said, Look. The people of the land are now numerous and are now stopping from their work. The nigger is tired of the yoke. <laughs> I am saying the nigger is tired of working for you, Mr. Mundele. Yes, yes. And get that. And of course, what are you trying to do, Mundele? It's our father prepared us for this. That same day, Pharaoh gave this order to the slave drivers and overseers in charge of the people. You are no longer to supply the people with straw for making bricks. Deny them their mule and 40 acres. Let them go and gather their own straws. Let the niggers fight it out in the streets, you say. We shall incarcerate those we can. Those we can't, we will kill with violence but require them to make the same number of bricks as before. Don't reduce the daily quota. Yet, you heap taxes on Bananzambi. They are lazy, or so you think. Your civilization is built on their backs. That is why they are crying out, let us go and sacrifice to our Tatanzambi. They are not crying out to go to their Tatanzambi because they are lazy. They are crying to go out because the other Tanzambe is calling them. Yes, yes. Amen. And so you say, make the work harder for the people so that they keep working and pay no attention to lies. Now we demand.
you let the people go for this very reason. You may want to incarcerate them. You may want to crown them with your pandemics, close down the airports. But I tell you, he who sends me, he who sends Bantu King Manzambizola, he who sends Bantu Queen Brenda Zola, because they are not, they're not, they're, you're not dealing with a mad man or a mad woman. You're speaking by people endowed with the spirit of Tata and Zambi. Sons of Muntu who hearken to the call. Yet you, Banabeto, are stubborn and stiff necked people. Want to live in the land of captivity where your slave drivers will keep pressing you saying, complete the, the work required of you for each day, just as when you had straw. Survive in a foreign land. In the same way before they brought, they brought their pandemics. Ache your way when there's a food shortage coming. I didn't say it, you had the queen saying, she's wondering what she has been eating. I, have, I was born and bred on the continent. And even I have never appreciated the food of the land the way my queen has. Perhaps mm. that is the way of the Bantu. Perhaps our ancestors living in the presence of Tata and Zambi, forgot who he is. But today is not about us, it's about him. The Isolele overseers went and appealed to Pharaoh. Why have you treated your servants this way? Your servants are given no straw, yet we are told make bricks. Your servants have been beaten, but the fault is with your own people. Yes, Mr. Mundele. You talk of the violence of the nigger. Let me teach you one thing, Mr. Mundele and Banabeto. You feed a lion milk, it does not change the fact that it's a lion. And no matter the situation in the jungle, a lion will never eat grass. You subjugate kings. They'll come at you and they, it, they will not hesitate to come at you because you're trying to trap lions. You're trying to tame lions. You're trying to tame a wildfire. That wildfire can only be tamed by the porter. The porter in Yamazulu, one tumbo, the mighty one. Maweza Jyoti, Maweza Shama. Don't you know that Kiti Chabokonzi Eleki Makasi? But now I remind you, and my king, I'm the host, the show is yours. And I'd like you and the queen to bring this out. Exodus 5, that's where we were, if you can. Because they, 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 they think Tatan Zambe is negotiating with them. Let's tell, tell them my king and my queen. We have heard what the nations are doing. Are you there, my king? Yes. From verse 22, you can take 22 and my queen can take 23. Okay. Exodus 5th chapter, verse 22. No, uh, Exodus, 4. Exodus 4, 22. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, my Exodus 4. 
it's okay it's okay it's okay heated heated moment yeah the spirit at work all right exodus fourth chapter verse 22 and thou shalt say unto pharaoh thus saith and limo is solely is my son and my firstborn even my firstborn and i say unto thee let my son go that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Uh, my king, yes, you're going to issue a decree today. In the presence of two or three, a matter is established. A king, a queen, and a king. By the Passover, this year, and we're not talking about the Mundele year, we are talking about the Bantu year. I, a son of Muntu, Muntu Banankos, Nkosi Yama Zulu, so nini na nini somanda. By the Ngolo for the Kembo of Tatan Zambi. Let Bantuana Babao Oswema Zuluini go. Let Bantuana Babao Oswema Zuluini go. You yes. have till Passover this year, or you will know that the one that sends us lives. Kiti Chabo Konzi, Eleki Makasi, Ingeta. Ingeta. My king, my queen, I, I did not expect that to go in that direction. I thought we were just going to sit and talk about life in Tanzania, but we know who sends us. So as always, uh, I'm not going to keep you because um, Tanzania is a big country. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm still, they, there's still a goat somewhere in the vicinity here. Uh -huh. It shall see the blade when your presence and the queen's presence graces us on the other side of the border. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be an honor. Then perhaps then my king, we may do part three. <laughs> of the interview we are obedient when the spirit leads it leads the last word my king my queen Hallelujah. again it was an honor and a pleasure to be with you Nabi, my king and i uh, truly thank you for this opportunity you know um you said something uh earlier that uh just really blew me away uh, and I can't remember what it is now, but <laughs> um, you know, it's the, <laughs> it was the uh, turmoil and everything. It's the presence, it's the presence. You know, when you come yes. out of that presence, <laughs> you might be a bit yes. disoriented. So I understand you, my king. <laughs> You're not straight. Exactly. <laughs> But it's truly been an honor and a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. My gratitude is to you, my king and my queen, because when we did the first part of the interview, Tatan Zambi put it in my spirit. The next time you're doing this, cut short this interview, because we are going to have a continuation of this once you are on the continent. Little did I know plans were being made. You had hinted to me, we prayed over it and he answers. 
We have to tell them he answers. He does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> and when, when, when I reached out to uh, my king for part two, uh, as usual, your nature, you were so in your humility. Oh, let's do this. And I was like, oh, why would you want to be stuck on an interview with me when you should be touring the sites? But then <laughs> he reminded me of the spirit that operates in you. So my king, my queen, we honor you for what you are doing for Banan Zambi. You have put your life on the line. You have put all that is under your name on the line, but not because you are a mutu mujinga, you're in Tanzania, you, have, you must speak Swahili. That means that it's not because you're a foolish person, but it is because you operate by a spirit that is not from this world. And you continue to minister even on the ground. You, you, you had the opportunity to meet a very spirited young gentleman. Yes. <laughs> You, you continue to meet him. And I'm, I'm sorry, my king and queen, because we, were, we, were, we, we, we had our own plans, but we were given instructions because the moment my queen was speaking and you were speaking about that cave and about those dungeons, his spirit came unto me and the rest was evident. And it's with humility, my king, you know, like, when he drops his word, we have nothing else to say. So Banabeto, don't be shocked that the king and queen are silent. Uh, it's, uh, it's that Tanzambe, he, 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 he does that once in a while. He uses the foolish things of men for his kembo. We thought we were coming here to have an interview and laugh, perhaps share a word, but he gave us his word directly. So kembo, kembo. We continue to ask you, Ungubani, who are you? <laughs> For thyself. Ungubani. <laughs> we, yes. uh, with humility, my queen, perhaps you can take us out because I'm short of words. My king is short of words. That was nothing short of a powerful moment. Oh, maybe you can give a blessing to Bantuana. Yeah, yeah, you can give a blessing to Bantuana Baba or Soma Zulini. Whatever, whatever is left, please do not go back with it as you enjoy the land of your ancestors. And by the Ngolo, for the Kembo, the next time we are doing part three, we'll be sharing an ice goat with the king and the queen in the land of their fathers. Kings and queens, we continue to tell you, it's a joint exercise, plans have been made. If you, if Tatan Zambi has put it in your heart to come back to the continent, very many of us in the diaspora and in Emboland are working together. We are all working together because we are one stick we are all working together, reach, reach out to Manzambi Zola, reach out to Brenda, reach out to us. The, the email is in the description. Uh, reach out to Yaya Robert Headley, reach out to Yanata Shilombo, uh, Nabi, reach out to Nabi Mikal Masa, who we'll be having later on today on the show. Reach out to uh, Kim Pavita, the warrior queen, because we are all working as one stick, different anointings, but one purpose. Reach, us, reach out, Panabeto. Get into conversation. I'm telling you, Bantuana Babao Osomo Azulini are willing and are ready to see sons and daughters of Muntu back on the land. Big plans ahead. Reach out to us by the Ngolo and the Kembo of Tatanzambe. Bayete, my king. Perhaps you can give yeah. them uh, how, how they can reach out to you. Sure. Um, 
My email address is Mosaic Productions. That's M O S A I A H Productions with a S at yahoo.com. And uh, also, our uh, channel on YouTube is Manzambi Sola. Hallelujah. Of course. And uh, if I also. The, the, the link to the description of the channel will be. Of course, we have to do that. As you are saying, my king. Um, I'm sorry. Um, just want to say real quick, and uh, I know you had asked uh, Mama Brenda to uh, a few words as well, but real quick, as we've seen the plays take place in scripture with Kamata, uh, because he would not allow then I beg to go, as Tatan Zamba requested, we are now seeing plays released today. So, Bena and Zambi, Bena Betu, remain encouraged. Remain encouraged. Don't be uh, cheerful about what you see going on, but remain humble and prayerful. Stay before Tata and Zambi. What a way to close, what a way to close, what a way to close. If I add on that, I will be a thief. And I say, until next time, Mantuana Baba Oswe Mazuluini, the Tatanzambe Mpungu Kulendo, Yamazulu, keep you, shine his face and his countenance and his salama be in plenty in all your abodes, wherever you are scattered around the continent. Kembo, Kembo. Kembo, Kembo. All praises to Saul Nini Zarnini. I'm Hanna Vanna Vermoonti. Rise of a nation sounds from a liberated Bantu. All praises to Saul Nini Zarnini. I'm Hanna Vanna Vermoonti. Rise of a nation sounds from a liberated Bantu. Hey, it can be Bantu. You can't